circumference equals 2 pi. When I was a kid, I once asked my teacher why the value of pi is always 3.14 or 22 by 7. Instead of answering, he scolded me and asked me to get out of the class. But that doubt never left me. It wasn't until my Tata stepped in that I finally got my answer. And believe me, he didn't explain it with a formula. Instead, he used something much more fascinating. A simple bullock cart wheel. My Tata was a skilled bullock cart maker. And it is really important for him to know the right amount of wood needed for the rim as well as the iron ring around it. So we all know that we can calculate this using a simple formula which is circumference is equal to pi into diameter. But he had other ideas. He showed me a practical way to do this. He would wrap a thread around the wheel's edge and then lay it straight on the ground. Now this will be the circumference. I measured it. It was around 15 feet and 8 inches. To be precise, it's uh, 478.54 centimeters. Then I measured the diameter of the wheel. It was 5 feet or 152.4 centimeters. My Tata explained, if we take this diameter and see how many times it fits along the wheel's circumference. 1, 2, 3, and a little extra. If we measure that little extra, it's about 0.14. This is the value of pi. It's about 3.14. My Tata explained me this to make me understand the value of pi. No matter how big or small a circle is, the value of pi remains the same. Mathematically, pi is the ratio of the circumference to the diameter and it's always around 3.14. Now let's talk about 22 by 7. My Tata explained it like this. Let's take a random bullock cart wheel. Assume the diameter as D. And to measure its circumference, we would be requiring about 1, 2, 3, that is 3D and that little extra. It will be about 1 seventh of this D. So if we add it, we will get uh, circumference is equal to D plus D plus D plus D by 7, which is equal to 3D plus D by 7. So if we do the math, we will get 22 by 7 D. This 22 by 7 is taken as pi value. 22 divided by 7 equals 3.142857, which is close to 3.14, but not exact. Remember, pi is an irrational number and it goes on forever without repeating. See? So 22 by 7 is just a handy approximation. But why does this matter? My Tata used this calculation of multiplying diameter with the value of pi, which is 3.14 or 22 by 7 to ensure the wooden rim and the iron tire fits perfectly. He would heat the iron tire, expand it and shrunk it onto the wooden rim for a perfect and a durable fit. My Tata taught me that math isn't just number on papers. It's about solving real world problems. And this wooden wheel here is a proof of how pi connects the practical with the mathematical. If you want to know more interesting stories about my Tata, comment grandpa below and hit that subscribe button.